Hello everyone, this is Indra, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics in KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to learn about diet in underweight. An underweight person is a person whose body weight is considered to be too low. The BMI that is the body mass index of person who is having below 18.5 is considered to be underweight. Uh, there are three types of underweight. The first one is mild underweight, moderate underweight and then severely underweight. The mild underweight BMI is considered to be 17 to 18 and the moderate underweight is below 16 to 16.9 and severely underweight have less than 16. Limitations of underweight. There are some limitations. The adults who is having below 18.5 has a reducing capacity to do heavy work and underweight pregnant women have increased the risk of getting underweight baby progressively greater proportion of time or spend of work or in bed with illness so the bmi is below 17 uh, in men and women are considered to be underweight there is a progressive increase in mortality in group of men who is having uh, 18.52 to below a 16 immunological defects are seen particularly in men with low bmi Undernourished children have lower heights and weight. The age of menarche is delayed in undernourished girls by about 1 to 2 years. Etiology uh, Starvation occurs either due to famine condition or inadequate diet in protein or attempt at reducing weight. During this time, the fatty tissue is lost and the skeletal, heart muscles and small intestine are losing it, its absorptive function. This results in lower blood pressure loss of hair and inelastic skin. Since the feeding program should be gradually, initially glucose water, fruit juice and skimmed milk powder may be given. Underweight also results from a disease like tuberculosis, diabetes, malabsorption syndrome or cancer. Infections are more common among these people. It is wisely and necessary to spend money on nourishing high calorie foods. Psychological factors also contribute to eating very little food. Some mental patients reject food leading to severe weight loss. Usually it arises from a desire to lose weight. If untreated, this condition may prove fatal due to progressive starvation. Electrolytes are lost in vomiting at the site of food or during eating. In such cases, patient must be admitted to a hospital and should be given specific direction to give high calorie intake of bread, wheat and milk products. Dietary recommendation. A high calorie, high protein, high fat diet with liberal vitamin intake is recommended. But before going into the diet, the first step is to determine their cause for underweight. Then the balanced diet should be planned based on their requirements. The energy is 500 kilocalories is recommended additional to the normal recommendation. Protein. Instead of 1 gram of protein, 1.2 gram per kg body weight is recommended for tissue building. Good quality protein is mostly advised and fat. Even though fat content is increased, easily digestible fats are to be included. Fat and fatty foods are not recommended. Meanwhile, high calorie fatty foods such as cream, butter, margarine and oils help to increase the weight. Carbohydrate. High carbohydrate sources must be from the basis of the diet. Leafy vegetables should be restricted. Uh, instead of that, potato and yam should be given. Dried fruits, sweet, nuts, dessert, jam, jellies, cereals, cereal products should be given. Uh, vitamins and minerals with a liberal diet, there is no need for the extra supplement. Fluids, it should be not taken before or with the meal, but only after a meal show that the food intake is not reduced. Enough fluid must be taken so as to avoid constipation dietary guidelines underweight person has to be on positive energy balance so calorie intake should be more than the energy expended energy dense food hold the key to weight gain they should uh, they should have eat three major meals a day and snacks in between underweight person should learn to eat more food at each meal serving size can be increased dietary supplements can also be given the food should be appetizing diet can be varied and new foods and recipes can be tried eating can make them uh, in different location and amb ambience with families and friends 
A walk before taking a meal can make an individual more hungry.